Only on two tonight, robbers attack and shoot a man during a violent home invasion. Their every move caught on surveillance cameras. This happened off Crawford and Blodgett Streets in the Museum Park area. Tonight, we're hearing from the victim's aunt and best friend, our Jonathan Martinez, joining us live at HPD headquarters downtown with their plea for justice. Jonathan? Yeah, Bill, and that victim's family tells us he, they believe that that victim does know at least one of the guys involved in this crime. Still, so far, no arrests have been made in this case. We do want to warn you, this video is pretty graphic. It is terrifying home surveillance video of a robbery that quickly turned violent. The victim, 28-year-old Jesus Alvarez, now in the hospital fighting for his life. For him, I can only imagine how hard it is for him to go through this. In the video, you can see Alvarez standing in a room of his townhome when two men walk into his place, later followed by a third person. Shortly after, the armed men approach the victim, pointing a gun in his face. And they went to the room where my nephew was at. They stuck a gun out on him, and then, you know, from then on, that's when it all happened. This just happened quickly. As Alvarez tried to get away, a struggle ensued. Oh, they kept on saying, um, like, give us, give us your money, give us your money. And, you know, my nephew's like, I don't have nothing, I don't have nothing. And they started fighting, and they started hitting him. Before the fight was over, gunshots are fired, and Alvarez is hit in his chest. He's never going to be able to talk the same. Like, he has a hole in his throat for the rest of his life now, and... It's just like he's got to learn how to live again. As a bloody Alvarez stumbles out of his place to go get help, the trio inside, meantime, help themselves to whatever they can get before taking off. So far, they haven't been seen since. We want to make sure that these guys get captured. He helps out so many people. Like, he has such a big heart. And then just to see what somebody else does to him, it's just like you want to take that pain away from him. And tonight, that victim does remain in ICU. Right now, investigators of the Houston Police Department are looking into this case. If you have any information about it, you're urged to give them a call. We're reporting live tonight from downtown. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.